Tonight we have the finale of Improv Best Ireland and we're really bringing it to a huge climax as we take a bunch of uh, well-known Irish faces who aren't normally associated with comedy and we're going to throw them into the mix of an improv show. They've been given a crash course, the shortest, most bravest crash course that anyone could ever have in improv, and they're going to be live in front of, it, of an audience. So everything that happens tonight is spontaneous, is improvised, there's no scripts, there's no pre-planning, um, and it's going to be amazing. The crack we had on, on stage has just been phenomenal, and the buzz in the room. When we went down for the, after the, during the break, uh, at the interval, the buzz in the room, the electricity in the room, people were psyched up beforehand, and then the buzz after the first act. It was the most terrifying thing I have ever done within the context of my job. Love you, man. <laughs> Waffle shorts. <laughs> and scene. That was the best thing I've ever done in my life. No joke. Even uh, giving birth won't be as good as that. Once they got the first laugh, that was it. They were addicts. They just wanted more and more. But once we got on, everyone was so supportive. There was like an amazing energy tonight. I know that sounds a bit arsy, but there was an amazing energy tonight. Very, very professional in that field. Thank you very much. Now, the first thing about shaving is sheep. I feel really good. I actually feel very zen. I feel very calm. I feel like, you know what, it's more stuff you do like this that pushes you completely outside of your comfort zone and allows you to kind of face your fears, surely is a good thing. Away. <laughs> Improv is probably different to what I normally do, like obviously working in 2FM, but in some ways, you know, that kind of sort of stream of consciousness, <laughs> unplanned as it often is in live radio, uh, you know, sort of saying things that, you know, so often just come into your mind or just stuff, th stuff that's off the cuff. Definitely there's, there's similarities there which I have to really enjoyed. Some people say about improvisation you can die on your feet and that was in my head before I went on and I just got the sweaty palms and the palpitations of the heart and it's, it's, you kind of start questioning yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself up for this? I did it because I thought it would be like that but having said that on the tail end of it we're all downstairs going, so when are we doing the next one? I'm so proud of everybody on the stage tonight, like none of us have done that before and we were so lucky that we had the improv experts with us, kind of minding us as we went. And of course we're doing it for Crumlin, so it's kind of a win-win in every kind of way. You know, Buddhist monks spend 20 years of their life trying to clear their mind and live in the moment. Going to an improv class, you can do it in 10 minutes and that's what we saw tonight. The fun is just phenomenal.